The Oregon Secretary of State's office issued a follow-up report to a 2019 audit. But before we get to the new report, here's the Secretary of State, Shamia Fagan, giving a little background on the original audit. The audit found that our largest school district lagged behind other districts in support, in support for Black and Latine and economically disadvantaged students. Those problems persist today. For example, that audit found 21% of black students met or exceeded standards for language arts, compared to 74% of white students. We need to change that. In its follow-up on Wednesday, the state found that a few years after the audit, while the district has made progress on 13 out of 15 recommendations, substantial work still needs to be done. Portland Public has fully implemented only two of the state's recommendations. They've added training, student and family support, and staff such as counselors and assistant principals. Both auditors and PPS acknowledged that the pandemic has made it more difficult to make progress on the recommendations. We reached out to Portland Public for a response to the report and received this statement that said in part, We agree. PPS still has substantial work to do to improve results for Black, Indigenous, and students of color. The school board and senior leadership of PPS, the majority of whom are people of color, strive every day to undo these unacceptable realities. The state says PPS still needs to work on more transparency regarding principal turnover at high poverty schools and how transfers and hiring affect that turnover, better accountability of spending and other issues related to equity and teacher concerns. Meantime, the pandemic likely led to further setbacks for students already at a disadvantage. Auditors say they can't force the district to implement recommendations or adhere to a timeline. It's up to the district and board to make progress. Christine Petawanich, KGW News.